While pinpointing truly confirmed real-life horror is difficult, there are well-documented disappearances in deserts that are genuinely unsettling. Here's one inspired by such an event. The Jode family and the skeleton crew, Death Valley, California. In the sweltering summer of 1939, the Jode family, George, Martha, and their two teenage sons, Thomas and William, embarked on a desperate journey across Death Valley. Dust Bowl refugees, they hoped to reach California for a chance at a new life. Their car sputtered and died near Zabriskie Point, a desolate, otherworldly landscape. With meager supplies and the unforgiving sun beating down, panic began to set in. George, a stoic farmer, clung to hope of a distant gas station marked on their worn map. Days blurred into one another. Martha, weakened by the heat, began seeing mirages, shimmering oases that vanished upon approach. The boys, plagued by thirst, argued and bickered. One night, a group of figures emerged from the desert darkness. Tall and skeletal, their eyes glowed an eerie red. They spoke in a guttural language, offering water in exchange for something the Jodes couldn't understand. Fear turned to desperation. George, desperate to save his family, agreed. The next morning, the figures were gone. Next to their car lay a single canteen, filled with a lukewarm, oily liquid. Against their better judgment, they drank. A strange calm washed over them, but it was a short-lived peace. Their bodies contorted, their skin cracked, and their eyes mirrored the red glow they'd seen before. Days later, a lone park ranger stumbled upon the Jode's abandoned car. The doors were flung open, belongings scattered. There was no sign of the family, just a single, chilling clue. Etched into the dusty car hood, scrawled in a crude hand, were the words, the skeleton crew claimed their due. Search efforts yielded nothing. The legend of the skeleton crew, malevolent spirits who prey on the lost in Death Valley, grew. Some say they can still be seen on moonlit nights, figures of bone and shadow, forever thirsty for something more precious than water. The caveat with real horror stories is that by definition, they lack concrete proof. However, documented disappearances in the desert fueled by local legends can be quite chilling. Here's one such tale. The Lost Patrol of the Gibson Desert, Australia. In 1929, a police patrol led by Constable Cecil Livingstone set out on a routine patrol in the Gibson Desert, a vast and unforgiving expanse in Western Australia. They were tasked with investigating reports of stolen cattle. Livingstone, an experienced desert hand, was accompanied by two younger officers, Constable Murray and Constable Campbell. They were well equipped and carried detailed maps. Radio communication in the remote region was limited, but they were expected to check in daily. Their first transmission came through as planned. However, the following day, only static filled the airwaves. Search parties were dispatched, scouring the endless dunes for any sign of the patrol. Days turned into weeks, then months. The unforgiving desert yielded nothing. The only clue was found near a dried-up waterhole, a single set of camel tracks leading away from the water source, heading directly into the heart of the desert. The tracks ended abruptly, as if the camels had vanished into thin air. Local aboriginal legends spoke of a malevolent spirit, a dingo devil, that lured travelers astray with illusions and drove them mad. These stories were dismissed by authorities. The official report concluded the patrol likely succumbed to the harsh desert environment. However, the legend persisted. Years later, a weathered map was found amongst the belongings of a retired prospector. It was Livingstone's map, with a chilling addition, a crudely drawn circle around a specific location deep within the desert, marked with a single, chilling word, beware. The Gibson Desert remains a place of mystery. The fate of the Lost Patrol is unknown, a testament to the desert's ability to swallow men whole and leave behind only whispers of a terrifying secret.
Due to the inherent lack of witnesses and physical evidence, true desert horror stories often blur the lines between fact and legend. Here's a story inspired by such a disappearance, incorporating elements of the Atacama Desert's Chinchorro mummies. The Canyon of Lost Smiles, Atacama Desert, Chile. The Atacama Desert, the driest non-polar desert on Earth, holds a chilling secret, the Chinchorro mummies. These mummies, some dating back 7,000 years, are known for their eerie, stretched smiles. In 1950, a team led by archaeologist Dr. Vargas unearthed a particularly unsettling one. Unlike others, this mummy was perfectly preserved. Its skin, a leathery brown, stretched taut over its skeletal frame. But the most disturbing feature was its grotesquely wide grin, a permanent rictus that seemed to mock eternity. Dr. Vargas, a seasoned researcher, felt an unexplainable dread emanate from the mummy. He dismissed it as fatigue and continued documenting the find. However, the following days were plagued by nightmares. Dr. Vargas dreamt of endless dunes and the unnerving grin of the mummy. Worse, several team members fell inexplicably ill. Their bodies contorted into unnatural positions, their faces contorted into horrifying mirrors of the mummy's grin. Driven by a growing sense of dread, Dr. Vargas reviewed his notes. He noticed a strange symbol etched onto an artifact found near the mummy, a circle with a crescent moon inside. Consulting with local Atacamino people, he learned of a dark legend. The symbol belonged to a malevolent spirit, the th Smiling Stalker, who stole the life force of those who dared disturb its slumber. Panicked, Dr. Vargas ordered the mummy reburied and the site sealed. Sadly, it was too late. The remaining team members succumbed to the illness, their bodies forever locked in a silent scream. Dr. Vargas, haunted by the experience, disappeared a year later. Some say he fled, driven mad by the desert's curse. Others believe he succumbed to the smiling stalker himself, his smile forever lost amongst the other Chinchorro mummies, a chilling testament to the desert's dark secrets. The reality of desert horror is the lack of definitive answers. Here's a story inspired by the mysterious deaths of hikers in the Namib Desert. The Footsteps of the Horned Serpent, Namib Desert, Namibia In 2014, a group of four experienced German hikers set out on a challenging trek through the Namib Desert, a vast and unforgiving landscape. They were well equipped and meticulously planned their route, determined to conquer the skeleton coast, notorious for shipwrecks and treacherous currents. Everything went smoothly for the first two days, they reveled in the desolate beauty, the endless dunes under a sky ablaze with stars. Then, on the third day, a strange wind picked up. It carried a low, mournful hum, unlike anything they'd ever heard. Unease settled over the group, a feeling they couldn't shake. That night, around the campfire, they heard it, a rhythmic tapping sound, like footsteps approaching their camp. Armed with headlamps, they ventured into the darkness, finding nothing but an unsettling emptiness. The tapping resumed each night, growing closer, yet no source was ever found, sleep became impossible. Paranoia seeped in, fueled by the relentless tapping and the oppressive hum of the wind. Their supplies dwindled faster than anticipated, adding to their anxiety. Then, one by one, the hikers began to show signs of dehydration. Their behavior grew erratic, fueled by fear and exhaustion. One morning, only two remained, Franz and Greta, a young couple. They found a single, disturbing clue, a trail of human footprints leading away from their camp, heading deeper into the desert. The footprints, however, were unlike any humans, three-toed, clawed, and impossibly large. Panic seized them. They abandoned their dwindling supplies, desperate to escape the unseen horror pursuing them. Days later, a rescue team found them, dehydrated, delirious, and babbling about a monstrous serpent with glowing eyes. Search efforts for the other two hikers yielded nothing, only the trail of inhuman footprints leading into the heart of the Namib, 
a chilling testament to the legend of the Horned Serpent, a creature said to lure travelers to their doom with its haunting calls. The fate of the missing hikers remains unknown, lost to the vast emptiness of the Namib, another whisper in the desert wind. The disappearance of Amy Geiger in the Great Basin Desert of Nevada in 2006 isn't a clear-cut horror story, but the unanswered questions and unsettling details surrounding it make it a chilling tale nonetheless. Amy, a 24-year-old experienced outdoors woman, set out on a solo backpacking trip through the remote Black Rock Desert. She was well prepared, with a GPS tracker, detailed maps, and enough supplies for a week. She meticulously documented her journey through photos and journal entries sent back to her family. Amy's last communication was on August 9, 2006. Her final photos showed a vast, desolate landscape bathed in the golden light of sunset. Her journal entry spoke of a sense of unease, a feeling of being watched. Search and rescue efforts began immediately, but the vastness of the desert swallowed any trace of her. The only clue ever found was Amy's backpack, discovered several miles from her planned route. It was partially buried in the sand, with some supplies missing, including her water purifier and camera. The GPS tracker had been disabled. Theories swirled. Did she get lost and succumb to the elements? Was she the victim of foul play? The lack of a struggle or any sign of violence made robbery unlikely. The missing water purifier hinted at a desperate attempt to survive, but in the unforgiving desert, such attempts are often futile. Adding to the mystery were reports from other hikers in the area around the time of Amy's disappearance. They spoke of strange lights flickering in the distance at night, and an unnerving feeling of being followed. The case remains unsolved. Amy's disappearance became a local legend. A cautionary tale whispered by campfires under the vast desert sky. Was it simply a case of a skilled outdoors woman succumbing to the harsh realities of the desert? Or did something more sinister lurk in the desolate expanse, a secret hidden by the shifting sands? The Great Basin Desert holds its secrets close, leaving Amy Geiger's fate a chilling reminder of the power and mystery that lie within its embrace.